guys, so I'm super sorry about the awful lighting and probably the echo, but we're here in my bathroom today to do a kind of skincare routine slash skincare first impressions, that kind of stuff. So my makeup's looking a bit haphazard now. It's been on for most of the day, so I'm just gonna take it off and then do, I have some new products that I wanna try out and I thought I'd try them out on camera. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove my makeup and I have been loving the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. This is what I use to remove my makeup on a daily basis. So depending on how much makeup I'm wearing, depending on what the day was like, all that kind of stuff will depend how like vigorously I do this step. Um, like I said, today I had quite a lot of makeup on so I did it quite a lot. So there you go. So now I have a relatively fresh face. The product I bought that I wanted to try out, that I wanted to talk to you guys about now, is this Rose Hip Treat Your Skin Pack. So it has a rose hip oil, cleanser, moisturizer, night cream, and a body lotion. And it comes in a pack like this, you slide it out. And I wanted to do a review of this now, or like tell you my thoughts so that you could maybe purchase it. It was, I just got mine from Woolworths and it was really affordable, it was only $20. And it's a really good way to try out products. Like I've been eyeing off the cleanser from this brand, the Rose Hip Cleanser. And I find that it's like $13 and it's on special for just the cleanser. But this for $20, I get to try out quite a few different things. So it comes in this cute little canvas bag um, that would be really good for travel if you wanted. It's got drawstrings to close it up. And then it comes with the five products. So... The moisturizer, the cleanser, and the body lotion are all 20 mils, and they're all this size. These products are cruelty-free, and some of them are vegan, so like the moisturizer and the cleanser are vegan, however, the um, body moisturizer is not, so that's those. The night cream comes in a little tub like this, and then the rosehip oil comes like this, so you get... Uh, 10 grams in the night cream and 3 mil in the rosehip oil. But this is actually a really nice size, I like it. So I guess I'm going to start with the cleanser and cleanse my face. I have my face washer here ready, so I'm just going to fill up my sink. So I really wanted to try out this kit because lately my skin um, has been really acne prone and I've been cleansing it a lot and working on trying to get rid of the acne and I found that that's really dried it out so I wanted to find a cleanser that I could maybe use in the morning or at night that will help like add some moisture back into my skin as well as cleansing it. I really like that this is no parabens, harsh, chem harsh chemical sulfates, phthalates, colours and petrochemicals so that's really good. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand. So I won't be using the moisturiser today or the body lotion, but I'm going to use the cleanser, the night cream and the rosehip oil. So I'm just squeezing a little bit of this out. It's just a clear gel and it smells quite nice actually. So I'm not really sure how much I'm going to need. So I'm just rubbing it between my fingers. And then I'm rubbing it on my face. I feel like this would work really well if you had a cleansing brush um, because it would really like help kind of foam it up. So I'm just wetting my fingers a little bit more. I felt like there wasn't enough moisture on my face. It's not really um, foaming up as I rub it in. It is a little bit but not very much so I would say that's to do with not having lots of harsh chemicals too. So hopefully you guys can see that. So it's foaming up a little bit. So I'm just going to take my face washer and I'm going to dip it back in the water. And I'm going to wring it out but not till all the water's gone. Just so that it's not dripping all over me. And then I just wipe it off. So I can tell by the colour of my water that that cleanse got a bit off. I'm going to do another cleanse um, just because, like I said, I did have a lot of makeup on today. So my first impression on the cleanser, it's quite a light cleanser. 
it was good and I found that my skin feels really clean now and it has helped remove the rest of my makeup. The water that I was washed my face washer in is quite dirty now um, so you can obviously tell it's helped remove the rest of the gunk and the grime. And my skin feels clean without having that tight stripped feeling so I'm really really impressed by that and I think it would be a good gentle cleanser. I'm not sure it would be good when I want more of like a harsh exfoliation. Just for everyday use, I would definitely recommend it. I think it's good. And if you guys would like me to do a kind of update letting you know how these products went for me over the period of time, feel free to let me know in the comments below because this is just a first impression. So I can't tell you the long-term benefits of using them, but it's just how they feel on me first time round kind of thing. I'm going to use the rosehip oil now and this has a seal on it and it also has a little dropper. It smells kind of funny and I can't think of what it smells like. So I put a little bit of that on and it's sinking into my skin really quickly. So I'm just going to let that sink in and I'll be back in 5 to 10 minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes and I found that the oil sunk into some bits of my skin. So like it's really sunk in on my nose and my forehead and kind of my cheeks here. Down here it's still a bit um, like there's a bit of residue but that's alright. I'm going to go in and apply the night cream now. So it just says, apply after cleansing at night, gently massage into face and neck. It has a little kind of like stopper on the top, so that's really good and nice and hygienic. So I'm just going to take what's on the lid rather than dipping my finger into the pot. This once again has that strong scent like that other product, so I think if you don't like um, strong scents, this night moisturiser, it's probably not for you because um, it is quite strong, but it's really rich and it's sinking into my skin really quickly, so I'm really liking that. And then I just take whatever's left and massage on my hand. So this is kind of my nightly skincare routine. I have used different products today to do kind of like a first impression, but it is kind of the steps that I would usually take. So I'm really impressed by this kit. I think it's really good value for money. And I think if you are at a store that sells this, it's the Rose Hip by Asano, um, then definitely check it out because it's, I really like the kit so far. I'm not sure about the body moisturizer or the normal day moisturizer but I'll maybe try them out in the morning and I'll update the description box down below to let you guys know what I thought of those two so I hope you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you want me to do a review of these products a few weeks or months down the track once I've used them a bit more and let you know if I buy the full size until then I'll see you guys in my next video bye the products I really liked most of them actually I was really impressed with the way that they applied I was really impressed with the pigmentation